Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the garage. Today, we are going to be doing some more modifications on the BMW M4. It's all aesthetic modifications, so we have a lot of carbon goodies again. Now, these are just cheap aesthetic carbon goodies. They're very thin and flimsy, but they do add contrast and color to the car. I got these ones from Vivid Racing. These are AP Performance, APR Performance Conard. So these are gonna go on the sides. And we got this awesome wing from Darwin Pro Aero. So we're gonna be installing this. I hope I don't screw this one up. We're gonna do the double wing setup because I think it looks super cool. We will be talking about the other modifications we are gonna do to the BMW M4. I do have some parts arriving, which means when all the parts get here, we're gonna send it down to Titan. We also have a new infotainment system, an Apple CarPlay system, which was sent to us by Josh. And we're gonna see if we're gonna try to install that. If not, if it looks too complicated, we will send it down to Titan and Titan's gonna help us out. But for now, we're just gonna do the front aesthetic bit because it's super easy. And then we'll get to the more harder bit, which is the rear wing. Let's go. These canards will require drilling, which means I hope I don't screw it up and we can center those. So we're gonna leave those on the ground first and do the easy bit, which is this guy. This guy just literally glues on that section. I do wish the car was really purple because this color, I love it. It just looks so good. Just push and hold. This one's like a no-brainer, no alignment thing. Sort of aligned and press, press, press. Definitely gonna give us some pop. More aggression to the front of the car. We're going to do some basic estimates. Since we are diagonally gonna mount this, we will diagonally run the tape. Put some tape, put the bolt in. I don't know if this is gonna work. It, there's a really thin passage right here. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be easy. But then again, nothing is easy. Okay. Right now we're gonna put the fender liner back on, which is basically yanking the bumper out and pushing that in. Uh, hello. Put a new wing on. Now we're gonna move over to the hard one. Look at that, the uprights. We are lacking the base screws, but I'm sure I have something that will work. Very, very nice quality. Looks epic, double wing gang. So we're finally back in the garage and some of the parts for the BMW have arrived. We are gonna try to install the wing again and also try to upgrade the Apple CarPlay system. You can check him out on Beamerwork. I'm gonna post the page of his Facebook page so you guys can upgrade your infotainment system as well. And then thank you so much to Mike from Vivid Racing for hooking me up with all these goodies which are going to be used to mount the wing because the trunk is not metal so the trunk is actually composite which means if we actually just mounted the wing on it it's going to rip itself off so this is what's included in the kit this is a reverse camera and because we're going to tear down the back portion we might as well install that also and then this is the multimedia kit so beamerwork ph that's their facebook page we're going to be mounting that module along with this harness system so that we can get a upgrade. It's opening the BMW parts. And again, these are all from the M4 GTS, which means it's the 
the one with the wing model. So hopefully everything fits and that we can utilize all the stuff they sent us. Yeah, take this out now. But we can access the camera also. This is how it looks on the inside. I've removed the screen, laid out the wiring, working on the module, that's the head unit over there, and just figuring out all the wires. Watching the instructional from Keys Motorsports, and they've been super helpful with everything for BMW stuff that I've been learning. Laying down a microfiber towel, pull this out. We need to disconnect basically almost everything and then reconnect it into the module and now we are going to be plugging in the other harness and then moving the fiber optic cable back to this slot here okay fiber optic reinstalled and we're going to hook him up here I think we've figured out most of the wiring already. I've uh, plugged in the extension cables and we're just going to slowly try to plug as much as possible back into the system. This is where we're at so far. Got the module all hooked up. The radio was working, although there's no sound yet. I don't know if I need the volume knob to be plugged for us to get it to work. We're going to be dropping this module down there because right now it's not going to fit this location unlike the video we were watching where they said they could stuff it right here. So Norman has opened this over here and yeah, we're just going to reroute everything to go down there. Testing again, trying to see if we can get some sound, plug the head unit in. All right, it is finally working. Josh has gotten us to get it to work. We needed to set the factory system to aux, and then after setting the factory system to aux, transferring it back to the Apple CarPlay style. And then now we are trying to play our epidemic sound so you guys can hear it. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up, close this all up, and help Norman in the back. Moment of truth, Norman is finally punching a hole. Although it doesn't seem like it's in the spot that I want it to be. Finally got the mounts on. Norman's drilled a hole through already. I find the wing a little too forward, but that's what we have to work with with this area. We couldn't bring it any more back because this bracket here has to mount there and then there's no space unless we like cut that whole section out. So for now, this is gonna have to do. Excited to see the wing get put on. One on. Um, No spacers needed, we just had to align the bracket again. And Norman's now assembling the inner liner. Set it to the middle setting at this point. And just need to clean the base, but done. One of the cool features of the Beamer Work upgrade is having a reverse camera. So if we go to reverse, get the nice reverse camera, 
and that's a pretty cool upgrade. Thank you so much again to Beamer WorkPH. Now that Norman is wrapping up with the BMW M4, I'm now trying to figure out when we can schedule the car with Titan because we have some other parts that we're going to go into the car. I don't want to do the work here because it's a huge job and Titan can definitely do the work for me. Thank you so much to Vivid Racing for sending me the other parts that we're going to be putting on the car. We have the Pure Stage 2 Plus Turbo Kit for the M4 along with the CSF uh, charge coolers and CSF radiator. And we also have the Vargas Crank Hub. The Vargas Crank Hub is going to allow us to fix the problems with this engine and hopefully be able to handle more power and more boost. So hopefully we can get the old and new 997 out of Titan so that we can swap it with this girl right here. Thank you so much again to Mike from Vivid Racing and to Josh from Beamer Works for hooking us up with the infotainment system, Norman for helping me out, and then Titan for hooking us up with the work that's going to go into the car because it's a big job to replace the Vargas crank hub system. And yeah, I guess we're going to end the vlog here and update you guys again when we get the car back, hopefully in the next few months. See you guys again in the next video. Peace.